Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Loxify here with a brand new YouTube video and today guys I'm gonna be doing a tutorial as you guys can see on my screen So what we want to first do is this is gonna be a tutorial on the best Twixter Velocity for your Fortnite montages. Sorry for any background noises. My blinds are going crazy So what we want to do is we want to right click here We want to click on import and we want to add in our song. So right here I'm going to be using the song Outer Space by Juice World. Um, we want to shorten our song down until we have our uh, we find our beat drop, which is my beat drops right here. You want to click on the clip and click M. It will place a marker for you right there. So now that you have that, you want to grab your clip, which I'm going to be using one of my clips. So what I want to do is if you have these black bars, make sure to right click, click set to frame size and click unlink now i'm going to delete the audio from the clip and i have this clip right here so i'm going to take the clip and i'm going to shorten it down and i'm going to go to where the kill is which is around here use your arrow keys to find the kill where the blue hits and all that uh i'm going to use be using the blue not where the bullets fall out so here's the blue what we want to do is we want to click click the clip click click m on your keyboard you want to shorten this down Align these just like that how that line popped up to make these align and drag this all the way to the end Now you should have something like this Just like that you have it synced up to your clip now what you want to do is You want to go to where your gun pulls out so around here you want to click C on your keyboard and cut it right on the clip Then you want to click V to come back to your mouse cursor and click on the split clip you have Then you want to go to your effects tab yours should be somewhere around here or somewhere here I'm not sure I just made my own workspace you want to type in in the effect tab Twixter and Twixter should pop up just like that and you want to grab Twixter Pro and grab it to uh, drop it onto this so if this happens what you want to do is click Control Z and you want to right click and click nest and click OK so now so it doesn't make an orange blue red screen so now what you want to do is grab Twixter and it should be fine so grab it put it onto this clip that you nested um then what you want to do make sure this is on twixter to output and you want to scroll down and go to the speed you want to keyframe the speed at the beginning of this cut clip and change it to 35 percent now you want to go to where your kill is which is around here use your arrow keys so my kill is right here i want to keyframe it and i'm going to change it to 500 percent then i want to um we're going to change it to 300% actually. Then what we want to do is we want to go 5 frames to the left. So 5 frames. And you want to change, you want to keyframe it and change it to 500%. And then you want to go 1 frame to the left again. And you want to keyframe it and you want to change it to 35%. So now you should have something. Then you go back to the last frame just to make sure. So it's at 30, 300%. You want to change it to 35%. So it comes out as a slow, fast, slow on the kill. So now you have something like this. It's going to look a little odd because it's not, um, like, it's too slowed and it's not synced. So to sync it, what you want to do is you want to go to your beat drop on your song. So mine is right here. You want to move this little pointer there. Then you want to zoom out a little bit on your thing right here. You want to grab every single... You want to highlight all these keyframes and you want to move them until they align with your clips. So how I'm going to do this is you want to highlight these right here and you want to move them until see how it turns blue right there, how your kill is. You want to find your kill and drop them right there. Now it should be synced and look something like this. Just like that. So now that's your very perfect velocity. Um, you don't want to touch this one, just highlight these and move them to where your beat drop is by having your pointer on your beat drop. So now you have that, and so it looks pretty nice and clean, it's a nice little uh, twister velocity for your uh, You can use it for an over edit or a clean edit. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been it all. This is my first tutorial. So yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with new tutorials and posting three to four times a week. 
So yeah, that is your velocity, and I'm out. Peace, guys.